Okay, I want to go over what a session is in Google Analytics because I feel like um, it's very... It's weird because it is such a simple thing, but it's really hard and it's really complex. And I think that Google Analytics actually lies to you a little bit um, <clears throat> regarding what a session is and why it's important. Um, you know, I, I went, I've gone over this in one of my uh, previous videos, but the source medium report is incredibly powerful um, because it ties in where people come from, which is really tied to like your campaigns and what you're trying to do marketing wise. Um, and then it brings in the goals of your website. So, um, especially for e-commerce companies and SaaS companies, incredibly important report. Um, this is even if you have custom reports and even if you use things like Google Data Studio or you use, um, you know, plugins in Google Sheets, you're going to use the data of where does traffic come from and what do they do. Um, so, so getting back to sessions, sessions are important um, to understand because, um, you know, you're only going to get to understand like 60 to 8% of what these sessions actually are. Uh, and that's purely because of the definition. Um, so a session is uh, a period of time where users actively engage in your website, uh, et cetera, all that stuff. Um, so what a session actually is, is a session is um, anytime somebody comes to your site um, and then anytime, uh, that's when it starts, when they come onto your site and then the JavaScript fires from Google Analytics. <clears throat> and then when it stops, is when they either leave your site, so that means that somebody Googles something, you know, they open up a new tab and they say, oh, you know, I want um, project management software for analysts, PPC analysts, and they find your, your, your company, they click it, then they balance and they go to something else. That is a session, however long that lasted. Um, but what is also a session is if I just close my laptop right now, all three of these are sessions, although like you know, viewing the source of my website is probably not going to be a session, uh, but Google Analytics is probably loaded on these two pages, and if I close my laptop, the session is over. Um, and that's because when I open up my laptop, these are going to refresh these two tabs. So uh, basically that sends more information to the database that says something was done, and I'm coming back. Um, now there is one caveat that a session is typically 29 minutes and 59 seconds, unless you change it in your settings, and I... Don't think I can uh, change any information here, but um, I might get lucky. Nope. I'm going to the wrong tabs anyway, so it's okay. But a session is 29 minutes and 59 seconds, unless you explicitly say it is not that. Um, so what happens is that if you close your laptop for more than 30 minutes, which is overnight, it's in between meetings, it's all that stuff, then that is a new session when somebody comes to your site. Not only that, but it's a direct none session. So taking a look at the source medium report, this is not true because this would never be the case. Direct none would probably be way higher than Google Analytics, or I'm sorry, Google Organic. But direct none is people who close their laptop overnight and then open it up and their tabs refresh. It's crazy, right? And if you're like me, this is not a typical situation. I have three browser windows open. You can kind of see them down here. And each of them has 10 tabs open. Um, so every day I'm creating 30 sessions when I log back in. Sorry, Jira. Sorry, Asana. Sorry, Trello. Sorry, Google Analytics. Um, but that's just the way it is. So, you know, understanding that a session, uh, especially a direct none, might not be the full story um, is just really important to realize. So I think I'm going to go over some more things in another video, but that's it for what is a session. Um, and, and, and hopefully we can, you know, better understand it over the next couple videos. So, thanks.